Welcome to the Robbie V Show. So topics for this week, we're actually gonna nom- we're actually gonna go over the match moron of the month. We're also gonna go over um, the lock, not the lock of the week, just the stick dinner picks. Unfortunately, it didn't hit last week, but we're gonna get back on track track this week. Although I did say that last week, so stay tuned. We're actually gonna talk about the dope of the days, the wonks of the week, and the MVPs. Not to, so there's one MVP out there today. But, you know, if you want to keep going on the show and know who the MVP is, well, just keep listening. So, all right. All right, so first off, big big weekend. It was a very big weekend. You know, Kirk's show was great. From what I hear, I, you know, unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend. I had some, you know, East, good old Easter. And I also had, you know, two birthday parties to go to on Saturday. So, unfortunately, there wasn't enough time in the day for me to, you know, go up to Portland, Maine and, you know, hang out with the fellas and, have a few cocktails and you know, then drive home. You know, of course, the next day very safely. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get to the dopes of the day. All right. The first dope of the day in the show's history, we're actually going to have a town as the dope of the day. You know, Warwick, Rhode Island. This is for you. Warwick, Rhode Island's dope of the day because you know, as you, unless you've been living under a rock, you you know what's happening next Monday. It's a solar eclipse. You know, it's a big time event. A lot of people are going nuts over it. You know, me personally, I'm not really going that nuts over it. Um, it's just a normal day for me, and you know, I'm doing I'm doing what I got to do to survive. You know, such as go to work and just you know just be raw and eat. Anyway, so the town of Warwick around, you know, they're the dope of the day because they're having a half day to for the solar eclipse for the schools. You know, they want to ensure the safety of the students during the solar eclipse. So that's why they're having a half day. You know, the town of Warwick should be ashamed of themselves for a lot of reasons. Number one, to ensure the safety of the students. Yeah, uh, I don't really think it's that hard not to look at the sun. You know, we all know that, you know, the, the eclipse, if you look at the sun directly during the eclipse, it can cause damage to your eyes. So, you know, quite simply, students of Warwick Island, you know, put, make an MVP move or just use common sense and don't look at it. There's no reason to dismiss students, you know, two hours early. You know, I find this tomfoolery insulting to people's intelligence. And I think the town of Warwick Island really needs to look, look at what they're doing with their lives and figure it out. So that's, that's one of the dope of the days. You know, another dope of the day is the bot. There was a Boston city councilor, you know, and Norman who wanted more accountability for, a t- you know, for time, and attendance for the city council meetings. Now, normally, I would be all for that. I would be for the people, you know, because who doesn't who doesn't want accountability, and who doesn't want accountability when it comes to time and attendance, right? Right. But unfortunately, this Boston city councilor is the number one freaking offendee of time and attendance. So she doesn't freaking attend the meetings, and she does she's not on time. So I mean, I find this crackerjack fool ridiculous, you know. If anything, there's nothing wrong with accountability. But make sure, you know, you're throwing stones. If you're going to throw stones, make sure your own house is in order. I find it ridiculous. Boston City Council, woman, you know, you really need to look inward and stop being acting like a buffoon and a wonk and really just get your life together. And freaking attend some meetings, for God's sakes. You know, do your job. Absolute joke, folks. Absolute joke. We'll have the name of her by the end of the show. All right, moving on. <sighs> no. Let's talk about LSU basketball player Angela Reese. I think we all remember good old Angela Reese. She was the one who last year made the, um, the hand motion towards Caitlin Clark in Iowa during the championship game. And she also waved Bob. I think, I think she also put a, you know, made the, the ring single on her finger after, well, LSU beat Iowa. And then, you know, she became that obviously nationally famous for a whole bunch of other things, which which is fine. You know, she played the villain, and, and that's great. You know, if that is your stick and you want to do that, that, that is great. What is not so great is after you get, after you lose Versailles in the semis, you start playing the victim card during the press conference, saying that no one's gone through right through and a whole bunch of other smorgasbord stuff. It's all been recapped. I don't really need to go through it. Angela, you can't have it both ways. You can't play that. You can't be mean, such as like waving, you know, waving at freaking 
players as he did against Middle Tennessee, walking off the court when they fall out. And he can't talk smack to the freaking UCLA bench and then basically claim victimhood on the when you lose. And we all know if you had lost, you never would have been that cordial. It, it's pretty much a fact. Your, you know, your ego would have been all puffed out, and God only knows what you would have said. You know, so playing the victim card after your loss, not, not, not exactly the best move. I'm sure you have been through stuff, but you know, that's not the way it is. You know, so the dope of the day, you need to look inward. And I, you know, and if you do go to the WNBA, I wish you well. But the fact of the matter is, is that you can't have it both ways. And that's Rob V's bold statement of today. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to the contenders for moron of the month. Actually, no, we're going to go to the wonk of the week. The wonk of this week, week this week, comes from Unusual Whales. So Unusual Whales had a tweet. They said about 25% of Gen Xers, Gen Zers, excuse me, said they will need a therapist to get through tax season. Well, let me think about that. So you're going to need a, a, a therapist to file your taxes in America. Wow. That's not good. That shows a lack of mental toughness. And to be very frank, you know, you know, you really, if you can't operate TurboTax, that's a, that's a lot of problems in your life. And you shouldn't need a, a therapist to file your taxes. It's just, it's a disgrace. You know, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what that says about the, the Gen Z, the 25% of Gen Z people who respond to the survey that said that. I think that really just shows that you will, you really are the wonk of the week. You know, there's, there's many ways to do your taxes. You can do it through TurboTax. You can go to h and Block and pay an absorbent amount of money, you know, basically to be lazy and not figure it out yourself. You know, the fact of the matter is, is that if you you need to look, you just need to be a better person. Use your brain and figure out how to use TurboTax. You know, Robbie V isn't going to stand for this freaking tomfoolery. And the people don't love it. In fact, they hate it. You know, there's going to be a riot at Prevetti's if, you know, if this percentage goes up. And I think it's freaking ridiculous. All right. Moving on. I think if you wanted to talk about sports, you know, real quick, you know, UConn is playing out of their minds right now. Uh, that game against Illinois was insane. You know, going on that run at the end, at the end of the um you know, basically until from the beginning of the second half, you know, it was insane. You know, they clearly are the team to beat. You know, Dave Portnoy was dead on, putting 600 foul on them. Um, I just think they, I think they're going to take it. I don't see any team beating them. I don't, I don't think it's a state dinner play, but I'll tell you, they, you know, they definitely are having a tournament for the ages, and um. You know, they definitely showed in Boston why they deserve to be number one. And, you know, the Bruins and Celtics, I don't know what's going on with them. You know, I, I hope they I hope they can get it together soon. You know, they are playing a game tonight. We'll see who wins, you know. Hopefully the Celtics can pull it out. And the Bruins, obviously they need to – well, the Bruins need to step it up. The playoffs are coming soon. It's April. And, you know, they need to get start playing playoff hockey for God's sakes. You know, the people aren't going to like it if they don't. And not to mention, you know, we do not, excuse me, need another early round exit. You know, people aren't going to be happy about that. All right. So, you know, for the month of March, you know, there was many morons of the month. You know, contenders for morons of the month. And some late entrants for the morons of the month. You know, I mean, as you heard, there were some unfortunate incidents at the Kirk Manahan show. But they weren't the morons of the month. You know, they, they were not. The morons of the month go to that, you know, go to the married couple that duped everyone with that open bar. It's just, you know, I, I've declared it. I mean, my decision is final, and there's no there's no room for appeal. This is not a democracy. What I say about the moron of the month goes. And the fact of the matter is, is that these people swindled their friends and are due, you know, due to a lifetime of bad luck and just awfulness. And I do not wish them a happy marriage. I hope that, I don't know. After pulling that stuff, I can't wish them a happy marriage. I just, I, I can't. Robert V is appalled. It's just, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So the early, so now that the, they want more on of the month, I hope someone, you know, tells them that. Maybe someone could tweet this out. I, I don't know. 
But just let them know. The Moron of the Month on the Robbie B Show. And their lives are never going to be the same. End scene. All right. Now, the early tender. Content, we have an early contender for Moron of the Month. Unfortunately, a woman you know, out of Logan Airport was trying to fly. Try to fly to London, which is fine. You know, you just check in your bag. You have a cocktail at the bar. There's no big deal. It's a very simple process. I mean, Rob V even did it once. So and I and I can and I managed to come back perfectly fine, you know. Nice passport. You do what you gotta do. You just get your bag. What I didn't do was put seventy four pounds of marijuana in my bag and try to act as a fucking drug mule, which was, you know, a, a dope of the day move. And you know, getting busted for seventy four pounds of weed, it's just you know, it's a lot of tomfoolery, especially thinking that you're gonna get away with it flying. And it's just bad decisions, it's bad business. You know, this lady is definitely more on the month, the early leader in the clubhouse for more on the month. I really don't think that she's, you know, using her brain or whatever, whatever her is left of her brain to pull off that tomfoolery. I'm just not happy about it. It's just not, it's not deeply affecting my life, but, you know, I just didn't, I just expect better of people. All right. The MVP this week is obviously is uh, Caitlin Clark. She had an unbelievable performance against LSU. She def definitely carried the team. I sincerely hope that she wins the national championships. I'm not the biggest LSU fan, unless you know, unless you're living under a rock during the show, you probably figured that out. I hope that you know she had a spectacular performance with nine threes. I mean, the women's final four has definitely captivated the nation. You know, the tickets for the women's final four cost twice as much as the men's. I don't really. You know, hey, the people have spoken, and Rob V's listened. You know, the women's Final Four, it could be the MVP next week, but we don't really know. So we're just going to, you know, tune in and find out. All right, so, Caitlin Clark, your MVP for this week. I hope you enjoy your award, and I hope, you know, the people love it. All right. So, obviously, a lot, you know, Stick dinner picks have been, you know, losing. So I need to turn that around this week. And I plan on doing that on Thursday and on Saturday. And I will make a Saturday pick, you know, this time and not just a Thursday. I just feel like if I'm not hitting the broad side of the barn, there's no reason to tell you. You know, there's no reason to tell you. You just have to regroup and, you know, and, and get at it next week. I did bowl pretty well this week. I bowled like a 315, average 105 a game. I was happy about that. I bowled good in all three games instead of last week. We're only bowled good in two. It's just ridiculous. Um, I'm going to address probably what you're all wanting. Well, I mean, you're probably not wondering. I mean, you know, this isn't the fucking view. You know, uh, golf picks are just going to be suspended for now. Um, so that's really all I have to say about that. Um, if, you know, the person that, you know, as we all know, Boomer did him, and if when he wants to come back, more than welcome. He's more than welcome. I'll take his picks anytime if he wants to you know, wants to start them up again. He didn't send them to me now, and I'm just going to respect that. So, so that's the story on that. Uh, next week, uh, we will we'll do a you know pretty a little longer show on the Masters. It's one of my favorite tournaments, and uh, yeah, it's a great time. You know? Also, um, I'm glad Steve. You know, I heard the Steve from Gloucester. Uh, you know, dance it was quite the spectacle. Same with the drip guys. You know, shout out them. You know, took a lot of stones to get up on stage and do that. You know, thumbs up. The people loved it. Re received great reviews. Uh, all right, it's only a fifteen-minute show, folks. So let's wrap this up. All right, next week we're gonna have the Masters. Tune in to the Kirk Minahan Network. You know, it's a great network for the the office trips, uh, the sports show, uh, Time Out, I believe it's called, uh, the Consistency Podcast. Uh, Beyond Average Mick. And um, and definitely tune in to see what Beanbag Ron and uh, McFuss Batty are cooking up for a new for a new game. I haven't heard anything, but, you know, you're not going to know unless you stay tuned. And, you know, in Quantum Kirk, I know, I think there's probably something in the works, so, you know, it'll come back. All right. Well, this is Rob V. Wishing you a great weekend, and just be safe out there. And remember, I'm always watching, so... If I hear about, hear any about anything about the dope of the day, moves people make, or wonk of the week moves, you could be a subject of my show. So just make MVP moves. All right.
This is Robbie V signing off.